Hello, this is Jaden at Seriously Smart Technologies, and we'll be going over how to set your COM port and interface for your biofeedback device. Normally, you'll be doing this because your device isn't being recognized at 25% when you're opening the software. And if you're not sure what you're looking for, every single time you open up the software and it's loading it gets to 25% like this, a box like this should appear, showing your device type and serial number as well as the name, but the most important part in here is the serial number. It might look a bit different depending on your software version, but it'll generally look something like this. Now, if you're not getting that every single time you open the software, then you're going to want to make sure first about your COM port. So for this, make sure your device is plugged in and on, and we're going to access our device manager. The easiest and surest way to access this by across all devices is to open your start menu and then begin typing device manager. You will see when you begin typing, the search box will appear. And from here, you can click on this to open it. Now in this menu, you're going to be looking for the port section. If your device is connected and on, it should appear. You can open the drop down, and you're looking for the USB serial port. If you have other devices plugged into this computer, like I do, you might have other entries in this list. So if you're not entirely sure which one you're looking for, then you can always unplug your device and plug it back in and watch for which one appears and disappears. Now we're going to just double click on the USB serial port because you can see right now it is set to COM3 by default. That's usually what it'll be or COM5 and we want it to be COM1. So double click on it, go to port settings up here and then to advanced right here. Now, in this window, you're going to look for the COM port number drop down menu. It'll usually be up here, might be down here, but you'll just want to open it up and then scroll up to COM1. Set it as that and hit OK. You'll see it updates in here, and the COM port is set to COM1. Now, in this menu here, for SCIO, this is the default and it is correct. For eductors, however, you will want to change one thing and that is the flow control. You'll want to set that to hardware. For Indigos and Quest 9s, you'll want to change one other thing, and that's the bits per second. You want to set that to 115200. But again, for Skios, this is perfect. So we'll hit OK and close out of that. And the next thing we'll look at is setting your interface type. Again, the easiest way to do so is to open your Start menu and search for Interface. And you'll see by default on my computer, this appears, and you'll want to run as administrator. And that will bring up a user accounts control pop-up on your screen, most likely, in which case you'll just want to hit yes if it asks you to allow the app to make changes. And then this menu will appear. If using the search menu does not bring this menu, this interface menu to you, then but we'll find it instead by opening the file explorer. Just search for that in here. And that will bring you to the files of your computer. Navigate to the C drive, usually found on the navigation panel here, local disk C. And for most biofeedback software versions, you'll have the class 32 folder. For newer Mandalay versions like 9922, it'll be in the class 64 folder. But for this, we'll do class 32, open it, and then use the search bar here in the top right corner to search for interface. And then that will show you this file here, interface type.exe. Right click on it, and you do run as administrator. Now, once this panel is open, you're going to select your device that you have connected. In this case, it's a SKU USB to USB and then you're going to enter in your serial number. This is a SCIO example serial number, but you'll want to enter in the one on the back of your device and then hit OK. And that will close and your device should be all set and you should find it recognized the next time you open your software. If you do not, do not hesitate to reach out to us for more assistance.